all of a sudden I have three hands. <laughs> Maybe not. Didn't turn on. Ohio Minasan, good morning. We just woke up in beautiful Kitanabe and we are headed to the beach for some breakfast. Yeah, beach breakfast is the best breakfast. I feel like when people think of Japan, they mostly think about like Tokyo, like Shinjuku, like huge cities and like the crazy crossings and lights and everything. But Japan is really a tropical island, so it's really cool to be able to experience that too. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that this place looks really awesome at night, but we're going to show you what it looks like in the morning at the same place I went to last night. So in Japan, you can buy beer and cigarettes straight from a vending machine. And it looks like they ask for your ID and they scan your ID before you can buy them. But it's crazy to me. Look at this. Also look at those prices. Is that cheap? Some of them. $2.50. $2.50 for oh, yeah. cigarettes. $2.50. That's like $2 US. So we now we made it down to the beach. We're gonna show you the skate park that I couldn't show you last night. Hey, it looks dry. Get some food in and a workout. Skateboarding in Japan is a little different than the rest of the world, especially America. You can't really skate too many street spots unless you go in the middle of the night because there are just so many people everywhere, especially in the bigger cities like Tokyo. Thankfully there are some skate parks for people to go skate at, but in Wakayama Prefecture this is the only skate park in the entire prefecture. It also just feels weird skateboarding in public because it's usually so quiet that the skateboard is ridiculously loud compared to everything else around you. But luckily even this little skate park is well maintained and I really can't wait to skate it. finished having breakfast, a workout, and uh, too long of a skate session because now we're late to check out of our Airbnb so I have to rush. But That's okay because the whole point we're here is to skateboard so it's okay. It's okay. So we're gonna rush back to our Airbnb, get our stuff, head back to Fukuoka and we'll catch him with you on the Shinkansen. <laughs> The 
audio on this one is kind of messed up because we were on the train, but I really wanted to keep this clip because of the raw emotion of Sarah's face. It was really funny because Sarah brought up the idea of buying a new camera and I said it as such. I said that she had a really great idea and she couldn't understand what I was talking about. But we decided to buy a new camera. We went to Big Camera, which is a large electronics store with a lot more than just electronics. They sell new cameras, beauty products, foods, even Olympic stuff. A great thing about buying a new electronic in Japan, especially a camera or something else that's expensive, is that you can get it duty free, which means you don't have to pay tax on it. So the 8% that you would pay for taxes is taken off your bill. Also, lots of stores like Big Camera and Yodabashi and other big camera stores have promotions going on all the time. Today, there was a 7% off camera purchase discount. So not only did I get a bunch of discounts, I also received two free gifts just for making my purchase. We'll get into those later. We'll do an unboxing at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned. After buying my camera, we walked into the subway, about to head home, switch over to the camera, and make our great escape from the nightmare that was having only one camera. But, turned on the camera and nothing <laughs> happened. Maybe not? It didn't turn on. So, we had to head back to the store and try to figure out why the camera wasn't working. I had two extra batteries that were charged 100% and they weren't powering on the camera. And we're back. It feels so good to have this camera on and shooting. We don't know how the battery is working, but we're going to charge tonight, give it a full test tomorrow, see what happens with it. The test at the shop said it was fine, so hopefully it's good. It's been a long, tiring day. We're about to hasn't been too fun to watch, so sorry about that. <laughs> sorry if there hasn't been too much happening. It has been mostly trains, some skating, yeah, and then just a bunch of camera stress and issues. But <laughs> we're about to go do some face masks and relax. All right, so we made it back, and we got our face masks. So we were at Big Camera, looking at the cameras and all the other stuff, and Sarah said that she wanted a face mask, so we got the one with the butt chin on it. Yeah. Well, little, little butt. <laughs> little butt on the chin. I'm gonna put on these face masks and then we're gonna do a little unboxing of the gifts that I got from buying this camera. All right, so we got our masks on, as you can see. I'm looking <laughs> pure white. I can't do this, I'm gonna laugh the whole time. <laughs> I've always wanted a gimbal, and the guy at the store was like, I'll give you a present if you buy this camera. And I was like, Man, I was gonna buy this camera regardless, so. Good deal. Thanks. Ah! Does it have anything in the box? There's nothing in the box, it's empty, except for the thing that's supposed to come in. Okay, we got some silica gel. <laughs> Instructions in every language possible. Does it? Oh, nice. It has a little charger, so I don't have to worry about batteries. So that's cool. Dang, this thing is. This is high tech. Is it already charged? Wow. <laughs> we look like this on video. <laughs> This is crazy. This is so, so cool. It's very stabilizing. It works very well. You can see our uh, high-tech lighting situation in here, so that's cool. I mean, so far, I don't know much about this thing, but... It's really cool. It looks super nice. I might actually use this for something. Uh-huh. <laughs> I look terrifying. <laughs> Me too. Wow. How come you didn't tell us we look like this? This is horrible. <laughs> So this is something that I am really, really excited about. I have never bought a tripod. I put it off because they're expensive. And I just made do on I mean, every single trip I've been on. I've never had a tripod until this trip. So I've just set up my camera to get long exposures by balancing it on rocks and all these other things. It's been a real 
a real treat. This thing is pretty heavy. Do you feel how heavy this is? Oh wow. Yeah. That's crazy. It's nice and compact. It's got a little carrying case. A sling so I can <laughs> look fly while it's pure white. Um, but, that's the instructions. We don't need that. No. Wow, look at that. Wow. Fold out. Boom. Wow. Look at that. Is that how solid it gets? Is that it? Is that hey, it was free. I know, it gets solid. Gosh. Don't worry, everybody. This is a tall tripod. So. Up there. I got a, a tripod and a gimbal tripod, both of which cost over $100. They also gave us a lens protector uh, that's for true. our Canon. Yeah, for, cool. for my old camera, they gave us a little lens protector just because they were like, oh, you we don't have, have one that. of these. <laughs> But I mean, obviously they just wanted us to buy a camera really badly and they have like a sales incentive but they're allowed to give away certain things, it seems. And I got lucky and got like three things just because I was buying a camera, which I was going to buy regardless of it does. So, we got some little presents, we got some face masks, I got a camera. Good day. All in all, I got the skateboard, rode on the train, did some editing, got caught up on that, and got a new camera so we can continue to bring you the best content we know how. Make sure you subscribe. Leave us a comment down below of anything you want to see in Japan. We'll try to get to everything that you leave us. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. But I love it. It's really awesome. I love it so much.